Oh, our foot sore have got some new stuff. Come on, I see that here. Yeah, see, I put this in just for you, Lloyd. Uh, so this is a, a new set of Dark Age Late Saxon Huskals. Um, so the guys over at Foot Sore Miniatures have been working on a whole bunch of Dark Age stuff over the past couple of well, months and years, really. Uh, they previously were working on Vikings a lot, uh, and now they've started to move towards Late Saxons. So they had a lot of Late Saxons out recently that were sort of daubed in their sort of regular um, raiments that warriors would have but now they're moving towards those bodyguards the guys that would have fought alongside their war your warlord in the shield wall we've got some awesome looking cost girls here that have a whole range of different weapons uh, so we've got some really great, great guys here with swords axes and shields and, and spears and all kinds of things like that which is pretty awesome so yeah a very very cool looking dynamic set which i think is really good because it's always key to have units that actually look like they're fighting i think yes. that's really important mm. yeah. i think that's the key to Take away from this set. The sculpting and stuff looks good. The details look good, mm. but the poses are so dynamic, so in motion, which is really cool. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm really lucky to look at these, as well as them being useful as Huskull, So, like your half guard for your army, if you're going to be playing a game like Saga, these would also. I think some of these would actually work quite well just as warlords on their own. If you just paint them up with a little bit more uh, sort of like crazy outfits and stuff like that. So, if you put a little bit more detail into their capes, well, sorry, their cloaks, for example. They look pretty cool. So yeah. yeah, a really good release that. When's it actually due? Because I'm th I've seen they were taking pre-orders. Like yeah. normally they don't take pre-orders, but they said for this version, for this yeah. particular release, they were actually going to start sort of taking pre-orders for this. Yeah. Well, towards the end of this week, they start showing off a few more uh, preview images of them with their weapons in hand, a lot more of them anyway. So I'm sure it won't be very, very long until uh, these come to their web store for you to pick up. They've been doing a lot of Mortal God stuff at the moment, so it'll be interesting to see when they pop up. Yeah, I am actually liking these because of just some of the finer details that they've thrown in here. If you have a look, you see the the actual like little Viking sacks that you've got there, just hanging around the belt. Tiny details like that always jump out to me on these kind of miniatures. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. Mm. Like all the wee details, like you say, like you point out their sacks to us, mm. is pretty cool. Because like I spent a lot of time on my miniatures trying to stick things onto them. Yeah, because like a lot of them come. Yeah, but they're very like, fiddly when you have to do it. Yeah. If you have to try and get a sack and stick it onto the guy, yeah, like you're first of all you're trying to figure out where does his sack go. Yeah, where's it hang? Where does it hang? All right, left or right? Rather than it just being on him. Yeah. Because like you're trying to figure out the motion of him and stuff like that, and if you stick a sack on awkwardly, yeah, it doesn't look yeah, it's hanging out the wrong side. <laughs> Sorry, that's just me knowing knives. <laughs> well, that's because you've had Viking experience <laughs> and UK Games Expo, uh, yeah, which um, we're actually going to cut in at the end of the show. Oh, you're cutting it in? <laughs> yeah, just. I have been waiting for people to see this. Justin's I had a blast. Experiences living as a Viking. I had a blast with this. Yeah, so if you're interested to see what Justin got up to as a Viking at UK Games Expo, wait to the end of the show because we'll leave you with it. Yeah, I used to be a warrior like you until I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you walked in and you're like, look at me, I've got chainmail on. Look how amazing that I look. That stuff is heavy. Look how heavy they are! That, and it, it kind of hugs the belly. Yeah. You know, not very flattering. <laughs> it did make you look a No, 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 you looked good. Yeah, but I just, that, that little Jarl's belly. Yeah, you looked well fed. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> I liked it. I really enjoyed it. It's, you see doing weapon reenactment like that, it's a real adrenaline rush. Yeah. You know, whenever you've got a blade in your hand, someone's coming at you. I mean, like, anybody well, hit, you, you'll see it at the end. Of anybody show. hit you with their sack? Uh, so I got hit with a sword. Yeah. multiple times and uh, then dan axe nobody which is terrifying nobody came at you with their sack then no that's not a weapon that vikings would use i'm confused the sword the, the little knife thing's called a sack though yes sea axe or sax oh a sax yes sax blade right or some people over here call it a sea axe so there was no sax maniacs or anything coming at you no no